Hi friends, this is Praveen Vishwakarma and welcome to the second tutorial of C++ programming. In this tutorial, we are going to go through the program session, which will contain a hello world program and a program to demonstrate the basic concept of C++. So let's go through it. Hope everyone has got an editor. As I told before, uh, we, are going to, we are going to use the Quincy 2005 as an editor in these tutorials. So let's go through the first program uh, in the program session that we are going to implement on Quincy 2005. Here is the Quincy 2005 editor. Go on file, click on new and here you can see a C++ source file and click on OK. Here is the place where you are going to write the program. Just save it out for the first time. Save it out and uh, select the loca location. Give the uh, file a name and the extension would be .cpp that is defined as .c++ it will tell the compiler it is a C++ file so click on save and uh, we're gonna do the hello world program the hello world program is uh, basically uh, just uh, just a program to print the statement called hello world on the screen so let's go through the program as I told at the beginning of the program we have to mention the preprocessor directives the preprocessor directives mainly used in uh, the uh, mainly used in in the uh, C++ language is IO stream dot H and the second one which I had told you in the last tutorial is the uh, hash include con IO dot H. These are the two uh, preprocessors preprocessors directive processor directives. That's all with the preprocessor directives. Here we're gonna write the actual code, and we're gonna open the int main. Uh, the main will be in integer, integer format, and uh, open the main. And uh, and here we're gonna write the program code now. So uh, for printing the statement, uh, printing a particular statement over the CMD, uh, the uh, in C++ we use a keyword called C out with the sign of insertion that means if uh, mm, the things which are going to write in this inverted commas uh, are going to be printed on the screen and uh, this sentence is printed on the screen by using uh, the uh, keyword called c out by using this keyword called c out and this insertion sign so this is uh, this is all these all uh, keywords are coming from the iostream uh, preprocessor di directives so you can uh, see how important is the preprocessor directives that's all with the uh, statement that i want to print i just want to print a hello world and two exclamation marks and that's all and now we're going to end the uh, end the main function for ending the main function uh, it is the same get ch it is also a keyword coming from con io dot h preprocessor directive get ch and give a, a semicolon and uh, return you're not going to return anything so you're just going to write it return zero so return zero there is nothing to return and just close out the main function that's all and this uh, once upon, once again i will just uh, go through it this is a main function this is the opening and this is the closing of the main function over here you can see C out and the insertion is used to print the uh, statement hello world which I have written inside the uh, inside the uh, inverted commas and get ch is the closing of the main function and as you have given the um, main the type of integer so that uh, there is no return which I have there is no return in this main function so i have given return zero and this is the closing of the main function so here we go uh, now we're going to uh, compile and run this program so just go on uh, project and just compile with the pro compile it so you can see uh, if there is no error you can see over here it's showing successful build just close it out go on debug and press run click on yes here it is. Uh, the um, statement is print on Quincy 2005. This is the uh, this black screen is called command prompt, and uh, it's written hello world. Look at this. This was the hello world program that I told you. It is just about uh, printing a statement on the screen. So we'll go with the next program now. Hope you guys have understood with the hello world program. It is a simple program. 
So next program file new C++ source file OK and here is your no, here is the place where you're gonna write the new program again I am telling you just uh, save the program first now this program uh, is going to demonstrate the uh, basic concepts of C++ so I am going to just uh, name the file as basic dot cpp as I told you the extension is dot cpp it defines dot c++ so this is going to demonstrate the basic concept of C++ so let's go as I told you um, before starting the program we have to include the preprocessor directives which is needed iostream.h io con io.h these are the preprocessor directives and now uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna take a simple addition of uh, two integer values so let's go through it now we're gonna open the uh, main function int main I'm going to put the both of the pair, a pair of uh, curly brackets so that I'll not forget to close the main function here we go with the actual code now we uh, now for uh, an addition uh, arithmetic operation of addition we're going to need uh, three of the integer variables a and b a and b is for storing the first value is for a and the b is going to store the second value and the third one would be sum the a plus b the addition of these uh, integers will be stored in the uh, various integer variable called sum so let's go through it you will get it by doing in the program integer that's called int it is a data type and uh, the variables that we want to declare is a comma b comma sum these three uh, three of them are an integer variable so just give a semicolon so in this in this example in this program we're going to accept the uh, values for a and b from the user the user can input the values through the keyboard you will be understanding when i run this program so for uh, we're telling the user to enter the values for a and b so you have to print a statement on the screen as i told you for printing the statement on the screen the keyword c out with insertion sign is used now you're going to write enter the values for a and b that's all and you have to give a semicolon in every uh, ending of c out and c in statements now what's c in c in is the place where um, c in with the extraction sign is used to accept the values and store the values in a particular integer variable or the variables such uh, such as I've, I've asked the user to enter the values for a and b so uh, i want to store this uh, value first of all the user might be putting the value for a so first first value should be stored in a and the second value should be stored in b there will not be any third value so that's all with the scene statement that's all scene statements are going to store the uh, values which are entered by the user and it will be stored in the variables as we declare so i've declared a and b uh, as our integer variable integer variable uh, the, the user is going to pro enter uh, enter the values for a and b so it's going to be storing the value in a and b that's all we have stored the value and now sum sum is going to store the value of the addition of a plus b that all means is a plus b suppose a is 10 and b is 20 10 plus 20 is 30 this 30 value will be stored in the variable called integer variable called sum so now we're going to give the user that what's the addition so c out enter a st enter a statement that um, the addition of the number is of the numbers is and over here we're gonna uh, display the uh, display the sum sum is storing the addition of the both a plus b so 
you're going to use the uh, out uh, insertion insertion sign and you're going to write it over here sum means uh, sum is going to display the addition of the numbers that's all with this program and now go with uh, closing the int main function get ch this is the compulsion and return zero you're not going to return anything over here just return zero and save the program now you guys gonna run the program first of all go and compile the program by pressing F5 directly you can see no errors over here successful build close it go to debug and uh, find the option called run run and click on yes now you can see in the command prompt it's written enter the values for A and B so it's accepting from the user so I'm gonna put uh, 30 for A so when I press enter the 30 uh, value is stored in A and uh, the second value I'm putting 20 and now when I press 20 uh, when I press enter the 20 value is been stored in B and the addition is been, is been displayed the operation over here is uh, performed of uh, when 30 is uh, stored in A 20 is stored in B and sum is equal to a plus b the addition process is done over here and this uh, and the addition is stored back into the uh, integer variable called sum and the addition is displayed right below that's all with this program even hope you guys have understood this videos that's all with this program session hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial catch you guys in the next tutorial thank you for watching guys